know something. What? I think Mrs. Reddington was right. I mean, I wasn't too convinced to start off with, but that's only natural, isn't it? Yeah. But now I'm really beginning to see the sense of what she was saying. What are you talking about? What, Mrs. Reddington? <laughs> the lady who takes our tapestry class. Oh. She says that if you lead a busy, active life and you find it difficult to unwind, and just sit down and sew for an hour, or even half an hour. By the end of the session, you just feel totally relaxed. Good. I really think it works. Well, it does for me anyway. Who are you writing to? Marriage Guidance Council. <laughs> what for? Advice on talkative wives. Now listen, I was reading an article the other day on the breakdown of most marriages, the reason for it. And you will be surprised to learn that it isn't infidelity. Do you know what it is? No. Lack of communication. Oh. Couples just stop talking to one another. Darling, I promise you, if ever I'm unfaithful, I will tell you about it. Afterwards. <laughs> I see, you got somebody lined up. Chance would be a fine thing. Hmm. No. Just supposing, for the, for the sake of argument, that you were stuck in a lift some night with a dolly typist. I mean, you might weaken. No way. Mm. Really? No. The doors might open. <laughs> Just get on with your letter, you. <laughs> Three, two, nine, four. Hi, Ma, it's me. Oh, Emma, <laughs> hi. How is everything? Oh, fine. Yeah, and the baby? Oh, he's super. He's putting on weight like crazy. Oh, good. <laughs> Of course, what? Well, Peter's been invited to a weekend conference, and we've got the chance of spending the night in a hotel. Well, so I wondered if you and Dad would look after Guy. Love to. When? Saturday. Saturday. No problem, no problem. Just bring him down and leave the rest to us. Oh, thanks. Bye. Love to Dad. Yeah, bye, darling. Oh, <laughs> we are going to have our grandson for a whole night. So I gathered. When? Saturday. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll have Sunday to recover. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's think about all the things we'll need. Well, they'll bring everything with them, won't they? Oh, no, I wouldn't rely on it. Not with Emma. <laughs> she could forget the baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, we'll get some uh, bottles, disinfectant, powdered milk. Uh, oh, darling, nip up to the attic and fetch down the old cot, will we you? We haven't still got it, have we? Yes, we have, all dismantled and in dust sheets. But they'll bring the carry cot. That'll do. No, I've saved the old one for the grandchildren, so we'd jolly well use it. Go on, darling. Nip up there, you bring it down, give it a good scrub and a polish, and then put it all together again. Move over. What for? I think I need half an hour on the tapestry. <laughs> I hope this baby appreciates what we're doing for him. Ah, uh, don't call him this baby. His name's Guy. It's going to be very confusing, you know, when your father's around. Yeah, we'll have to call him Big Guy and Little Guy. <laughs> Sounds like a couple of cowboys. <laughs> Come in. It's only Sonia. Oh, <laughs> what's all this? Just getting the cot ready. Oh, expecting a happy event. <laughs> Emma and Peter are bringing the baby down to spend a night with us. How exciting. You must be thrilled. Oh, you bet. When's he coming? Saturday. Oh, I must pop over. Yeah, I expect you want to borrow him. <laughs> Hester, love, are you busy for lunch tomorrow? No. Oh, good. And it's my day for meals on wheels. Didn't think you were eligible. <laughs> it's for old Mrs. Bevan in Tudor Grove. Only I'm tied up tomorrow. Could you deliver it for oh, me? Oh, yeah, sure. She always has the same thing. She's no trouble. Yeah. Shepherd's pie and a jelly. Fine. Hang on a minute. Are you going to provide it all? Of course I am. What do you take me for? Just checking. Oh, I almost forgot. You haven't got any mints, have you? I <laughs> knew it! <laughs> oh, that's a delicious smell. Shepherd's pie. Ah, William's fate. No, this isn't for William. It's a special treat for an elderly lady. Oh, how very sweet of you, dear. Thank you. <laughs> no, Mother, not you. I'm standing in today for Sonia's Meals on Wheels. Oh. How are you? But I'm slightly puzzled. Why? Well, I've just received these lovely red roses. Oh. But there's no card. Well, perhaps you've got a secret admirer. Oh, well, I do. Oh, no, no, of course not. Not at my age. <laughs> Come on, you're not that old. I didn't say I was that old. <laughs> I just said not at my age. Oh, you must have an inkling, Mother. Well, it could be Mr Carstairs. Who's he? My bank manager. He's a widower. Aye, aye. What have you been up to? Oh, nothing. But he's always very charming. 
I did take out a small insurance policy with him last week. Really? Well, I should watch him if he offers you a joint account. That's <laughs> <laughs> very ridiculous. Dad, come in! Hello! Hello. Oh. And how is my little girl? Fine. Nancy! Good morning. Oh. Don't I get a kiss? Not at this hour. <laughs> oh, I see you've got my roses. Oh, they're from you. Well, of course. <laughs> Hard luck, Mother. What have made you do such a silly thing? Uh, Nancy, have you forgotten our anniversary? I made a point of forgetting it when you deserted me 40 years ago. <laughs> Not our wedding anniversary. This was the day that we first met. Oh, Dad, how lovely. I, I think that's really romantic. Yeah, she was looking divine. Yeah, well, where did it happen? Hyde Park. I was sitting on a bench, Nancy passed by, dropped her glove, and I picked it up. Classic, really. Tragic. <laughs> it was meant for someone else. <laughs> Listen, you old rogues. If you want to see your great-grandson, he'll be here on Saturday. Splendid. Nancy, you've got two guys now. Don't rub it in. Why don't you invite Dad up for a coffee? No, not now, dear. I, I'm going out shopping. That's all right. I'll come with you. Um, make sure she doesn't nip into the bank, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to leave a car unattended with the engine running, madam. Oh, no, no, right, fine. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, an old lady. Plenty about. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, this one is actually in Tudor Grove, and I've been going round around its circles for ages. Could you tell me where it is, please? Over the lights, second on the left, and first right. Second on the left, first on the right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> about what you deserve. Um, look, look, I seem to be holding things up. Shall I? Shall I move on? I wish you would. Right. Bye. Day, is it? You ought to trade that in and get a Dodgem car. <laughs> I'm doing a Meals on Wheels service and I've got to get a shepherd's pie and a jelly to an old lady in Tudor Grove. And if I don't get there soon, it'll be cold. You know, it doesn't matter about the jelly because that's. She'll cold. be lucky if you get there by supper time. <laughs> and I've got a lot of shopping to do as well sometime. I've got a baby due to arrive on Saturday. Oh, well, well that's different. What number in Tudor Grove? Ten. Right. Follow me, love. I'll clear the way for you.
going on? This is Bevan's Meals on Wheels. Ooh. That's what I call service. <laughs> Who wouldn't vote for this government? Said they were uncaring and heartless. Never mind, girl. I will next time. Oh, we may not be here next time. We can do it by proxy. <laughs> Yes. Oh, uh, Mrs. Bevin. Yes. Your lunch. Your new. Yes. <laughs> Not bloody shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> and Jerry. Oh no. Nappy days are here again. <laughs> oh. Evening, darling. <laughs> Present for our grandson. Ah, oh, a bit big for him. Oh, he'll grow into it. <laughs> Had a nice day. Well, it's been pretty hectic. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bumped into John. Sends his love. Oh, thanks. I bumped into a policeman. <laughs> what? Three times. Oh, Hester. No, he, was, he was very, very nice about it. In fact, he ended up escorting me. What, to the police station? <laughs> no, to Tudor Grove and back. Why? Well, I was telling him that I was in a hurry because the baby was due to arrive on Saturday and he assumed that I was the mother. <laughs> You're not that plump. Yeah, well, I am in my anorak. <laughs> I was rather flattered, actually. <laughs> oh. I'll get it. Come on, Fred. <laughs> oh, good evening. Good evening. Mr. Fields. Yes? Sorry to bother you. I'd just like a word with you and your good lady, if that's convenient. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, I suppose it is. Come in. I shan't keep you long. I'm well aware of her condition. Condition? Oh, right! <laughs> yes. <coughs> Hester! <clears throat> yeah? That nice young policeman has popped in to see you. Oh, heavens! <laughs> is uh, it all right if he comes in? What? Uh, yes! Good evening, Mrs. Fields. Oh, well, good evening, officer. No ill effects from this morning? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you must be getting pretty excited, sir. Yes, I am very. <laughs> Not your first, I suppose. No, no, third. <laughs> yeah. uh, would, would you like a drink, officer? Would you like a drink? <laughs> no, thanks, I'm driving. Oh, yes, <laughs> silly of me, really. Uh, Who is it? Only Sonia. <laughs> I just. Oh, dear, something happened. No, uh, I, th I think it might be better if you came back later, Sonia. Mm. Right. Um, I just wanted to know if you got the lunch to Mrs. Bevan. Uh, yes, eventually. Uh, this is my neighbour, Mrs. Barrett. Would I be right in assuming that you're the lady who should have taken it? Yes. Well, not very considerate to give Mrs. Fields the responsibility. <laughs> Why? Well, the baby due any minute. Oh, it hasn't arrived, has it? Would she be calmly sitting there if it had? I suppose not. What would, have, what would have happened if it had arrived early? Ask yourself that. Well, she could have had it in the back of the car. <laughs> she very nearly did. What? We uh, mustn't keep you, Sonia. You should have seen her. She was climbing around the inside of the car like a squirrel. Oh, she's able to cope better than any of us. You'd never guess she was a grandmother. Really? Grandmother? <laughs> Well, I married very young. <laughs> I should get her resting with her feet up. <laughs> yes, good idea. So, up! Oh! <laughs> Most kind of you, officer. Goodbye! <laughs> she had one or two little bits, so I hope she'll have a checkup. Yes, well, I'll make sure she goes round to the garage tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, at the doctor's. Oh, the doctor's, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, I think she needs you. Yes, I think she does. I hope it's a boy. Oh, it is. I mean, it will be. Pleasure. Take care. Have fun. <laughs> and don't worry about it. Be fine. Bye. Bye. Hope he's a member of the AA. Like old time. Oh, 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 oh,
What's it feel like, Granny? <laughs> Who do you think he looks like? A Martian. <laughs> <laughs> Bearden guy. What do you think of your granny's house, eh? Are you going to like it here? Or are you going to say, no, I want my mummy and I want my daddy and I want to go back home to Cockermouth? <laughs> is that what you're going to say, is it? Or are you going to say, no, I want to stay here and have lots of fun with my granny and my daddy? <laughs> My great granny and my great granddad. Darling. And my auntie Sonia. Hester. What? Give him time to answer. <laughs> oh, isn't your granddad silly? He doesn't understand, does he? We won't listen to him, will we? Are you going to go on like this all the time? Look, you've got to talk to babies. It makes them feel secure. <laughs> Emma talks to him all the time. Well, you should probably bring him up in a minute. <laughs> Did you talk to our kids like this? Of course I did. You've just forgotten. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. Must be 20 years since you sat on this sofa with a baby. Having Guy here like this. <laughs> it's like it was yesterday. Well, I looked a bit younger then. Not really. <laughs> oh, yes, agrees with you. He says, I got a very young looking granny. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's 30. <laughs> I've got a bottle in the kitchen. I'll get it. No, it's all right. I put it back in his carry. Oh, well, let, let me hold him. All right, then? Yeah. All on. right. Well, don't drop him. Oh, I haven't dropped huh? one yet. <laughs> 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 These women, they never stop fussing, do they, eh, old chap? <laughs> but we understand each other, don't we, eh? Hmm? Would you like to see your teddy, eh? Would you? <laughs> 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 Hello, Guy. <laughs> Would you like me to come and live with you in Cockermel? Hmm? All right. And you can share my bottle. <laughs> Teddy bears don't have bottles. They eat lots of toast and honey. They love honey. <laughs> and sometimes they get shepherd's pie. But you're too young to know about these things, aren't you, eh? Enjoying your chat? <laughs> Wasn't me, it was Teddy. <laughs> well, it's difficult to tell from behind. <laughs> Sonia, please. Well, they like that sort of talk. Look, he's smiling at me. Yes, out of pity. <laughs> He's used to intelligent conversation now, you know. Come on, Mother. Come and meet your great-grandson, Guy. If you don't mind, I shall call him George. I think that's going to be a bit confusing. He answers to Guy. I think Guy's a nice name, Mrs Penrose. That is a matter of opinion. Hasn't he got another name? Well, only Richardson, and that's hardly suitable for a baby. Well, he won't be a baby forever, will he? There are... A little present for you, Richardson. <laughs> Heavens, that sounds a bit formal. Yes, you say thank you very much, Great Granny Penrose. <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Well, I'd better be getting back. Uh, will it be all right if I pop over and have another peep tomorrow? Sure. <laughs> oh, uh, have I finished all my sherry? Yes. <laughs> and most of ours. <laughs> oh, well. So long. Oh, don't worry, I'll answer it. Right. You want to hold him, Mother? Oh, no, I don't think so. Come on, you know you've been dying to. Oh, well, <laughs> if it'll give you a break. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, there. Oh, look at him. He's opened his eyes. Who's a pretty boy, then? You're not a budgie, Mother. <laughs> Going in the clams, eh? Hello, guys. Hi, Dad. Hello. Quite an historic occasion. Yes, well, come and meet your namesake. <laughs> it's a few years since you were holding a baby, Natsy. Yes, and left holding it, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't make that mistake again. You won't get the chance. <laughs> He's a good-looking chap, isn't he? Yes, no wonder they called him after me. <laughs> now, what have we got in here? Ah, a bunny rabbit oh. and a bottle of bubbly. Oh, oh, lovely. I thought we'd wet the baby's head. Oh, why not? He's already done the other end himself. <laughs> Oh, 
Hmm? William? What? I think Guy's got wind. Of what? <laughs> you know, that... The baby's got wind. Oh, not again. Oh, well, he hasn't had wind before tonight. He's had everything else. Oh. Oh. Will you? Yes, yeah, all right. It's my turn. Thanks. Oh. oh. Keep him warm, darling. Yes, all right. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Now, come on, old chap, sort yourself out. You see, it's all coming back. What, his last feed? <laughs> Your expertise. I don't think Guy is very impressed. Oh. Shall I sing to him? I think he's in enough pain already. <laughs> what was it I used to sing to the children? Traviata? No. Uh, oh, I... When I'm calling you... Or will you answer too? Uh. <laughs> A critic. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I bring the tea up? Oh, thank goodness for that. I don't think my legs could manage it. Ah, oh, the happy couple. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Just wondered if there'd been any news. Uh, arrived yesterday. Oh, that is good news. You must be very relieved. <laughs> oh, I am very. Give my congratulations to Mrs. Fields, won't you? Thank you, I will. Well, if, good heavens, you shouldn't be up yet, surely. <laughs> We're, 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 we're pretty quick off the mark, you know, me and Princess Diana. <laughs> well, it looks a fair size. Yeah. 18 pounds. How much? Oh, let's see. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, 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 he's nine pounds. Yeah. Each. Yes, yes, it was twins. <laughs> <laughs>